There it went. Hey, welcome to Live Edge. We, uh, really yeah, I think so. I think we're live now. Yep, we're live. So our internet's been going up and down all day all long. Day. Actually, it was out for several hours today, and it, it just went out. I was getting up to go, I don't know, I don't know what I was going to do. Throw it on the phone. I don't know, do Live Edge on the phone. But we're back, so the internet's on for now. Oh. So if it disconnects tonight, that's why. Yes. So if it does disconnect, it may disconnect for good. Mm -hmm. um, and we may not be able to get back on there tonight because it literally has... Our daughter's had training for two days, Mo. She had training for two days, and it's been virtual from home and all day today. She kept getting kicked off her training, and then she finally had to get on her phone for the last several hours, and it was, it's was it been a nightmare. Yep, it's been crazy, crazy. So... Hello to everyone. Yep. Drop uh, in the comments where you're from and let us know. I'm Amy. What's up, Paul? I'm Matt. Welcome to 731 Live Edge. Live Edge, episode number next. <laughs> number next. I can't keep up with the numbers, so we just call them number next. <laughs> if you really oh, want to know goodness. what number it is, just go to your favorite podcast app, podcast app, search Live Edge, and you'll hey, see Paul. all the episodes there. What I about? keep up with them there. We got Paul along. So hey, tonight, Kevin. we're going hey, to talk Becca. about common mistakes beginners make, or all of us make, actually. Do you want to go ahead and do our spotlight? I do. That's what I want to do. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. All right. Uh, tonight's Live Edge Spotlight for the week from the 731 We're Working Community on Facebook is Cheyenne Lueb. 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 So check it out. Y'all, that thing is gorgeous. I love it. Yep, that is cool. I like it. I think I left a comment on that that said I freaking love this. <laughs> I love that. It's beautiful. Yep. You were actually just talking about making something. Mm -hmm. I hang on a wall similar yep, to that. For our bathroom. Yep. Yep. Good job. Good job. That was good. Good job, Cheyenne. I'll give a shout out to her later on the community. Um, and then we also had a community member. I didn't get a picture of it. I'll have to go back and get it. Have their first grandbaby. Mm -hmm. So I need to go back and find that and put that on here. So if you have common mistakes that you've made or you know that others make, you can drop those in there. We'll try to pick those up as well yep. and discuss them. Now, one of the first things I think that most people make a mistake on myself included is squareness when you get something even a little Sever bit even a little bit it's out of <laughs> out of square then your whole project kind of gets wumpy y'all that's that's why a lot of times when you're building tables or benches or anything like that it's got four legs sitting on the ground it will kind of be wobbly or there'll be two legs that are touching and two legs not a lot of times that has to do with it's out of square and if you want to know how to fix that, you just take one of the legs that's touching and just start sanding on it and sanding on it until all four touch. So long as it's only a little bit. I mean, if it's like that, you got a problem. So really quick, let's do our mail call. Yep, I forgot. So from Tecton Creations. Mm -hmm. I got, got tools some, of the trade. you see these? Yep. There's Cry a Bible, hammer, other things. And if you'll Drill. notice, the most important tool is the center, and it's what? It's the Bible. The Bible. Mine says Christ in all things, Philippians 4.13. Mm -hmm. So super cool. Thank you to Tektron Thank for those. You. It's awesome. Now you can get started, and I will start writing down the states. Somebody suggested you should get a map and check them off. I know, but here's the problem with or that. Or a list and check them off. A list would work for me, but a map would not, because then i got to find the states. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be looking for it. Well, you just need a list. I Alphabetical. Oh, that would be fine. Yep. When are you going to make that for me? I bet there's one out there. <laughs> well, the list got a thumbs down. I just saw that. So The list got a thumbs down? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Stephanie, a thumbs up. Tecton that? Creations <laughs> is on Instagram. And then their website's from there. What's... It's T-E-K-T-O-N. Yeah, I think so. Is it on yours? Yeah. It's on here. I gotta find it. Sorry, put mine over there. Oh, I swear it was on here. I bet it would. There it is. It's on the back. T E K T O N, and I'm scraping that over there. Tecton Creations. Make it out of wood. See, Seth has got me. Thank you, Seth. 
You know, we could make that okay, get back out of focus. wood, <laughs> drill holes beside each one with a little dowel. She puts a pin in every time somebody... Oh. Now, there's an idea. And if I could make the CNC do it, that'd be even better where it etched in the name of the state or even maybe the outline of the state and then the state's name. Yes, should. Becca, there, there's some cool graphics on there. <laughs> they oh, can't they, hear you. They, what? What'd you do to me? Nothing. You're not sitting close enough. I am light right up on it. You've got my volume up. Are you lying to me again? Look, I never know when you're lying. Ed the Woodsman. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Oh, I see it. <laughs> Sit closer to the mic. Can't you gotta be like right on. I gotta be right up on it. There you go. I hear you better now. Okay, but I gotta write these. So I'll, I'll be right back with y'all. I'll boost or gain up a little know. bit. I don't need a boost. I gave you. I gave you a boost. <laughs> I I you a boost. A boost. <laughs> Another mistake that we make, everybody makes is the measuring. You don't measure it right because you get in a hurry or whatever the deal is. A lot of people just get off on their measurements. And then I've got a video on two different tape measures. Or actually, I've done three different tape measures, all three reading different. So I always try my best to use one tape measure for the whole project. I've got a couple, three in the, in the shop, but I always try to just stick with one because if you measure at the saw and you measure it four and a sixteenth, and then you go to your project or you, you measure it on the project four and a sixteenth and you come over and, and cut it at the saw with a different tape measure, it could be up to an eighth inch off. And while that doesn't seem like a lot, when you start talking about what we talked about earlier was being out of square, yeah, that eighth inch is, is quite a bit and it'll throw things out of whack pretty quick. There's a net in here. See that? <laughs> you didn't see it. Is this a gnat that everybody can see? Well, I saw it because he flew in my face. <laughs> no one like them gnat flies in my hair. <laughs> you ain't got no hair. <laughs> yep, two oh, elms bills. That's right. The people not using eye protection. Try to always use that. And I'm bad about flipping it up, like flipping up on my bald head while I'm working and looking, you know, get my measurement and then. Not necessarily with a saw. I'm pretty good with the saw, but bringing it back down with like a drill or even a sander a lot of times. I don't think about it, but I've actually, when you're sanding something with the orbital sander, sometimes a little splinter or something will pop off and flick up at you, and then it won't be no fun. Thank you. Thank you, Lloyd. What Appreciate that. He said my karate skills are second to none. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I practiced my so karate. Everybody called him a ninja when he was a trooper. <laughs> and so one that was of my, my nickname. Yeah, one of my students. I sneak up on you. We've known her since she was in her mama's belly. So I, her older brother and our son played ball together. And so from the time she was born, we knew her. And she always called him a ninja. And so he calls her a little ninja. Mm -hmm. And But guess who is able to sneak up on who all the time? <clears throat> I can sneak up on She tries to scare me all the time. I don't do it on and purpose. I, I can't help it. He's just a Freddy ghost. She, <laughs> she come up, she's like, raw. I'm not You're trying to do it so on purpose. <laughs> I'm not sensitive. I'm in tune and my tactical skills come if out. If you were so in tune, why wouldn't you hear me coming? It's my tactical skills come out and about, about to knock her out a couple times. She's sneaking up on me. Y'all hear that happens? A and what happens, like one of these days, <laughs> like she's going to go raw, man. I'm going to be like, we ought, and not even know that I done. We yocked her until it's too late. <laughs> we yocked me. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Lord help. <laughs> uh, hearing protection, that's right, Ed. I, I wear the 3M work tunes. Those things are awesome. Uh, they're the As far as listening to music, they are not they don't have a lot of bass, but they they work really well. The, even without anything, music playing or anything, books or anything, when you put, a, put them on, it actually drowns out like 20 decibels. It knocks them down. So. Second to none. <laughs> I'm sorry, I still... Huh. Uh, what CNC do you recommend? I'll go off topic, but we're not answer, answering. Um, so you. I have the uh, Shapeco 4XXL. Now, I didn't buy it, so I can't speak to that. Some others would speak more to that. Shapeco sent me that to use on a video series I'm working on, on if you can make money with CNC. And so I'm actually going to use that once I learn how to work it. So far, me and the CNC don't talk. We don't talk. They don't talk the same language. Can y'all hear me better now? <laughs> I'm a grain belt in karate. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. 
203 wants to meet you in an alley. No, he said he definitely wouldn't oh. with these skills. Oh, Lord. You should see my crane. Wow. Stephanie said yes. Ed said yes. Mr. Jim said no. What? Mr. Jim, can you not hear me better? Everybody else is saying yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know what the topic is anymore. Well, the hey, topic Cassandra. is woodworking mistakes. Oh, and I then, thought it was ninja mistakes. Well, we, then we got off on my ninja skills. Or like there. Actually, Mr. Jim, uh, I haven't had coffee since lunch. I've cut out my evening coffee because it's messing with my sleep. <laughs> and I, I have not had coffee, but... I had one of those teas that have all the loaded up caffeines and stuff. Mm, I didn't have one of those. I did. I've had water. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so back on the topic, mistakes. A lot of times when we're cutting, we don't think about the thickness of your saw blade taking out that the kerf. Uh, whether you're using thin kerf or the full kerf, you got to think about that when you're planning out your project. So if you've got a 12 foot board and you need four three foot pieces well it's not gonna work because that kerf is cutting out about an eighth inch every time and then when you get to the last one you're gonna be a little short so always think about how much kerf you're taking out when you're ripping boards things like that when you think about that kind of stuff and then also yeah that's it one of the things that that frustrated me when i first started was when i tried to finish something with like a clear coat I was trying to do it in a dirty environment. Like I would just get through sanding it and then just go straight into putting my finish on. Well, all that salt or sanding dust was in the air. What do you think is going to happen when you put that clear coat on there? It's just going to fall back down on there and stick. Gives us that rough finish. A lot of us don't have the benefit of having a separate space to finish in, especially a clear coat. Now paint's a little different because if you're painting, most people paint outside, but even if you are painting inside, I've done that a couple of times. I didn't like it, spraying it. But if you're, if you're spraying it, then you can just take some high grit sandpaper and get rid of it and smooth it out and then put another coat on. But on clear coat finishes, when you re, whether that be lacquer or polyurethane or whatever you're using, if you got that sawdust in the air, then it's going to be very difficult to get that smooth finish. So it's always best to let that settle a couple of hours before you actually start putting your clear coats on. Sometimes you can get away with that because I, I'll stain and then let the stain dry eight hours or so, and then put the clear on if you use stain. Uh, John McNett wants to know, have you ever used a glue line saw table blade, or saw blade, sorry. Oh, no, I'm I, not. I totally mm -hmm. screwed that up. Uh, Stubby Nubs just done a video on finishing. I checked it out. I hadn't seen that one yet. That dude's cranking out some content. I've seen like a video a day. Oh, <laughs> Mo said, uh, smash that like button and you get a virtual fist bump. Yeah. Mr. Jim said, I'd rather have a cookie, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> we got to meet uh, a couple of our viewers. Well, one and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, and I did give him one of my cookies. They yep. come by He got here. a cookie. He got one of my homemade cookies. He come by and got a cookie. One of my uh, newest recipes. Mm -hmm. Monster cookie. It's called a monster cookie. Yep. It's got a little bit of everything in it. I... I don't know if uh, CMT, I'm sure CMT makes them. I've, I've been using CMT blades for last month or so, month and a half. I like those things. I like them a lot. I don't understand. My computer's so janky right now. I think our internet's just janky right yeah, now. Yeah, our internet's been bad, bad. There we go. My computer still showed people in the waiting room for the show to start. Really? Mm -hmm. Just now? Uh, I just fixed it. Oh. So you missed it while ago, Stephanie said, tangent alert. And she had like the little <laughs> looking <cows. laughs> <laughs> Also be careful when you're finishing stuff uh, not to move it or deliver it to people before it's fully dry. A lot of times like polyurethane and stuff can take 48 hours or more, sometimes days. Most of them, only, if you'll read on the back of the can it'll say like 30 day full to be fully cured and so i always tell if you're going to sell something especially like a dining table and you put poly on it i say hey you don't put nothing hot cold leave it wet sweating until you know at least 30 days because it's not fully cured for that long so be sure to read actual read the directions i'm terrible at that 
And so read the directions and make sure you know your cure times before you sell your piece to somebody. All right, really quick, let's get these out here. So we have Texas, hey, H2. Texas, Canada, Tennessee, Missouri, Kentucky, Florida, Connecticut, New Jersey, New Zealand, Wisconsin, New York, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Carolina, South Carolina, Michigan, Georgia, Alabama, New Hampshire, Utah, England, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Delaware, Virginia, Kansas, Thailand. Thailand is new. And that is new. Mississippi and Arkansas. Because we did you get have Florida? Did I I said Florida? Oh, I didn't hear you. I thought I did. If not, we have Florida. But I know we have Arkansas on here. Oh, we have Oklahoma, Maryland, Louisiana, Michigan, <laughs> all them too. And we have a couple of my students on here. Where'd they go? Maddie is on here and she said that Kendall said hi. Hey Kendall. Hey Maddie. Miss In you Vegas. girls. Love y'all. <laughs> and Maine. In Ohio. And Iowa. Maine. Oh, New Mexico. Ohio. Indiana. That's right, Jackie. We don't need no oh, direction. State, and men. we have the state of confusion. <laughs> we have the state I've of been confusion. There. That's the first time I've been there. had that called out though. I've been there a, a, a many of the times. I, I get confused Thailand. pretty huh? I get confused pretty easy. Five J three sixteen. So That's if funny. you're be sure when you're clamping your projects down, especially the F style clamps that have the little dots on them, especially when you're using pine, spruce, so softwoods, when you clamp things down with that little dot on the end, I don't know what you call that thing, little foot when you clamp it on there, it'll leave a dent or an indention in your board you can get those out if they're not too deep with an with you iron and just some steam it'll it should pull it back out but if it don't then you're going to just sand it and then you'll have a little hump there and all that stuff so i always like to take a piece of another piece of wood like a piece of scrap put between them that helps you clamp now if you've got you know the bigger wider style clamps it does not as big of a deal but you need to make sure you're trying to protect that i think i got it I think yeah what I still write them down even when after. Another mistake that I've made a few times is not pre-drilling my holes. So when you're going to put a screw in and you want to, oh, it's just quick. I just need that one screw. And then it busts the wood. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, always pre-drill because you don't want that stuff cracking the wood. That would make a good video. Bust the wood. Bust the wood. Bust the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should. Two elms, you're absolutely right. Uh, a lot of us are too afraid or stubborn to ask for help. I think a lot of times it's more uh, afraid or I guess afraid is a good word because you don't want to, even on the internet and you put something out there and people like, especially in some communities or some forums and stuff, they just give you the business because you ask a question. Like, I just need to know if, if I can get the glue off or whatever the problem, you know, the problem is, but yeah. Uh, any advice on jointer mistakes? such as curved or bowed seams. John McNett wants to know. And then I'll go back and pick up some of y'all's other questions. Too. Curved or boards. Uh, uh, if, hey, if your seams aren't coming together and they got a gap in them, a lot of times if you're on a jointer, if the boards are really long and you've got a bench top style jointer, then it's really difficult to get a that flat, straight line on there. H2 Woodshop says spray water on raw wood and plywood to raise the grain before yep. you do final sanding. That's a good tip. Before painting or staining. Mm -hmm. a lot of, especially if you're making cutting boards, things like that, a lot of people will do that. They'll raise the grain and then they'll sand it back smooth and that'll keep it from the grain from raising whenever they, uh, the first time it gets washed or whatever, washed. <laughs> 203 said, got in trouble in my meeting. I watched the replay. I just want to know <laughs> why do people wax the table saw? God bless you. <laughs> So waxing <laughs> your table saw, that. it keeps it from rusting, but more importantly, it helps everything glide smooth on top. That's, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why you put the wax on there. Or you can, there's some, there's another product called Bow Shield uh, T9, I believe it is. The rust remover stinks like a wet poop. <laughs> it's bad. I said that in the video, but it's the truth. It stinks. It's, it's got a sulfur oh, or something that's in it. the one where you said that in that video. Yeah, and, but the T9, the Bow Shield product's got like some silicone type stuff in it. It makes it slide real smooth. A lot of people use Pace Wax, Johnson's, or Tray Wax. I prefer Tray Wax because it doesn't stink. Hey, uh, Jason Priestler wants to know if I can do a giveaway of my cookies. Hey, that's not a bad idea. It's really not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. 
We do have a giveaway coming up. Uh, Masca has provided some pocket hole jigs. If you watched the last review, the twin and the single pocket hole jigs and several boxes of screws and screw kits, things like that. I'll be doing a giveaway uh, likely over on my Instagram. That's probably, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on Instagram. Uh-oh, what happened? Something happened. What'd you do? What did you do? You did that. You we pushed a button. At 731 works on Instagram. Why are you pushing buttons? Uh, look at all them buttons. <laughs> You're like Buddy the Elf <laughs> in the elevator. <laughs> it's so pretty like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. What'd you do? What have you done now? I'm reading a question. Mike Adams. He says, have you ever glued dowels, put them in the hole, and busted the wood from the hydraulic pressure, compressing the wet glue? I have not had that happen. Somebody on here said a common mistake is using too much glue. Uh, Seth, I, I think Seth James I, King would Seth probably uh, disagree with you that. Seth said that. And Blessed Husband said pride can get in the way too. Whoa. Yep. It gets in the way a lot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Building dog crates, uh, Buck Dubé. Just get after, man. I, I don't know. This, it just depends on what sizes you're making. I, I got a video on them that I built one. And a lot of people have taken that video and made a, a business out of their own designs. Uh, make sure they're big enough, tall enough for the dog that's going to be in there. In the video, we had our standard poodle go in there. And I took a picture and he come out. He was in there 60 seconds, maybe. Right. Maybe and he loved it. He loved stuff oh, like that. Yeah, he we loved. Got hate on he it. loved. It. And man, there's people complaining about that. They still comment on it. He passed away a couple <laughs> years ago. It's but yeah, just just uh, make sure they're big enough for the size pet that's going to be in there. So they're asking what kind of cookies. Okay, so I bake. These were monster cookies, but my most requested cookie that I bake is my s'mores cookie, and it's a homemade recipe that I don't share. I don't. I won't share that one. It took. 15 batches of cookies for me to get it exactly the way I wanted it. And I don't even eat those kind of cookies, but I've, I think I have perfected them. They're ooey and gooey. And yeah, they're, they're, gooey. They're, gooey. They're, they're, they're everything you could want out of a chocolate chip cookie and a s'mores all in one. So, but I, I would leave it. I make a, a mean snickerdoodle too. So Thank you, great grandpa. Like a really good snickerdoodle. Yep. Holy s'mores. <laughs> Thank you, great grandpa. So if we could ship some cookies, I mean, people ship that stuff. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. But probably have to look into the health that. department. Probably violate the health code or something. So Cassandra, I take my my um, homemade dough that I or not dough, uh, my batter with my chocolate chips in it, and then I put in marshmallows, and then I put it all on top of a graham cracker square, and I bake it that way. And so when you take it out and you bite into it, the, the graham cracker is crispy on the bottom, and then you get chocolate chip and uh, a really soft chocolate chip <laughs> with kind of a caramelized marshmallow. <laughs> they goo. Like the marshmallow in certain spots will be clear, like a clear uh, yellow color because it's caramelized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to make them and sell them, and I made desserts, and I sold those and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, until this happened and I still can't hardly make anything because I'm having so much pain but I, I can make some some San Marcos makes that's right Russian projects is always a big mistake and it's one of my biggest mistakes even when I'm building for a video I'm like I gotta get finished gotta get finished gotta get it you gotta get it and so I'm always rushing trying to I feel I feel like I'm rushing through it a lot of thank times thank you Rick thank you Super chat. That's right. I always alternate the wood grain mm -hmm. to reduce the warping. I've heard. So here lately, probably in the last three, two, three months, Thank I've gotten, Stephanie. I've gotten more messages from people saying, and pictures are like, "Hey, I built this tabletop. I got all the wood at Lowe's or Home Depot, and it looks like a U. Like they they went in the house and it was flat. They come back out the next day and that sucker is like this. What did I do wrong? Well, it's not. It's the moisture content and the wood you're using. From the big box stores, a lot of times they have really high moisture content. And then when you bring them home, they're not acclimated to your environment. And so you try to put them all together, even with pot, when you put pocket holes in there, especially if the edges aren't jointed square, if you're just putting them from factory edge to factory edge, and you, they'll buck a little bit anyway. And so you have to be real cautious with that. But 
the, it's the moisture content. So you have to really pay attention to that. The moisture content will cause it to. Brett Lamke says, I'm surprised Matt isn't 700 pounds. Those cookies sound great. <laughs> I have to work out a lot. Thank you, Steve. I have to work out a lot. That's why you you see me up early, lifting weights and running. So I make something called a choco flan cake. That's good. Uh, It's Mackenzie's favorite thing, most favorite. And it's called the magic choco flan, but it's my own spin on it. And so when you make it, you put the chocolate cake in the bottom and the flan on top. And I use a homemade caramel that I put in first in a butt pan. And you have to bake it. You have to be so extra careful. But when you put it in the oven as it bakes, the flan Mm. moves to the bottom and the cake moves to the top. And so when you flip it over, you've got a chocolate cake, the flan on top, and then homemade caramel on top. And so the way I do mine, when you take the butt pan off, the homemade caramel that I put in there first kind of drizzles down it. Mm. And I do a dark chocolate cake for the bottom. Um trust the flan. <laughs> uh, and then I do a um, pecan pie cheesecake that is to die for. It's amazing. Being, that's right, being afraid of the cons- what the consumer will like the product. I've, I've always, even Seth gotta go eat to cookies. this day when I build something and if somebody else is getting it, like even if it's her, I want her to like it. <laughs> I want my customer or whoever's getting it to like it. So, Becca needs yes. a menu. A menu. I used to actually have one that people ordered from. Yeah. But I, I had to quit when I broke my arm. Uh, Mike said his sugar is spiking just from listening. To Michael, we, uh, we, we're we working on that. Jim's I don't know how long it'll be, but she, she wants to do a home mm-hmm. channel. I am, and I'm going to share my recipes. Um, the only There's only one recipe I've said I will not share, and that's mm. my s'mores recipe. I want Mo to learn it. Um because I don't even have it written down anywhere. Um, so I need her to do it. Um, but Jim Meek said, biggest mistake I make sometimes. I doubt myself. Yep. We all do. Yeah, I think it's natural. I think that is. Uh, yes, there's a difference between birch Pascal plywood and Baltic birch. Baltic birch has more layers. And it like a Baltic birch is basically, and I don't want to speak out of turn, because I don't really know a lot about it. But it's, there's I know that it has a lot more layers and it doesn't have those if you've ever been to the store, Home Depot, Lowe's, any store, and you see that birch plywood in there, and sometimes it'll have like gaps and stuff in the in the layers where it's broken out and stuff, Baltic doesn't do that. It's a higher grade. Steven said, how big of a donation do I need to make to get cookies? <laughs> <laughs> when Travis came through, Travis, uh, I gave him one of my cookies, and he took the first bite, and then he took the next bite, and he was like, yes, 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 you need, to, you need a cookie channel. <laughs> Uh, that's right, Rick. Don't point out your mistakes to your blessed husband. That's awesome to Thanks. your uh, customers because they don't know it's a mistake until you tell them it's a mistake, that's unless awesome. it's extremely obvious. You blessed husband said, "I make a killer caramel apple crumble cheesecake that brings good money to my church's annual dessert auction." That's awesome. That is, that does sound good. I may have to try that. I do a homemade apple pie. That's awesome. It's a cinnamon apple pie. Michael Hall. Uh, should beginning woodworkers go for budget type hobby level tools or go straight for better quality? It just really depends. Like you can get by with Harbor Freight clamps, things like that in the beginning. Uh, you can get by with Ryobi and things like that when you first start out. But like on table saws and the big tools, I wouldn't cheap out on that stuff because if it can't be squared up, if it's going to cause you problems, you're you're just gonna it's going to cause you more headaches than it's worth. Robert, that my pecan pie cheesecake is it's <laughs> it's the most expensive dessert I sell. It's it's a heartache to make because of the way I do it. Every every component that I use except for the cheese cream cheese is homemade. Yep. Like I, I do all homemade stuff. R. H. Harley said, "What was it that he makes Italian cannolis?" No, right now. That sounds good. That does sound good. Mm-hmm. I make eclairs. Sound really good. I make really good eclairs. Uh, Balt, back to the Baltic Birch. Baltic is hardwood layers, and the other is softwood layers, except for the outer layers. So Spend there you go. good money on the tool you use the most. That's right. Yep, yep. How uh, Michelle Cochelle or Georgia Peach, how about a good set of wood chisels? Two cherries. Look up two cherries. Mm-hmm. I got a, 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 a 
viewer from Germany sent me a set of two cherries. So they're going to be about probably $150 to $200 for the set, hey. but they're excellent. You know what time it is? It's power tip time. Power tip time. The power tip is, you didn't think I had one, did you? I didn't. But I do. Don't use dull blades. They'll ruin your life. <laughs> it's that bad. It is bad. <laughs> Keep a sharp blade. A lot of times you can just clean the blade and get the, especially if you're cutting a lot of uh, pine, spruce, it gets that old sap and stuff on there. So you can, it's called pitch. If it, I guess it's when sap gets hot, it's pitch. I don't know. Anyway, you can clean that stuff off and it makes the blade last a lot longer. It, I recommend CMT blades now. I, I like Diablo blades too. So if you can find those, a lot of places like Home Depot Lowe's carry Diablo blades. They're excellent. I've used a bunch of those. And I, but I really do like the CMT blades and, but just get a sharp blade. And so if it starts getting dull on you, circular saw, doesn't matter if it's circular saw. And that goes for bits too, router bits, all that stuff. Just make sure um, they're sharp. So a couple things on here. First, Brother Riv says saw stop, save a finger, price out one trip to the ER to reattach those fingers. That's true. True. Um, and then Nathan want Silver to. wants to know, at what point did you decide to quit a very good job and go full time with your woodworking? Hmm. Well, I got a video on that. If you've not seen that, yep. I highly encourage you to go check it out. Uh, it was kind of more of a process. More it's called than, Leap of Faith. Yeah, just, just search 731 Leap of Faith. You'll find it. Um, so the moment, I guess, I don't know that, I mean, the moment I was at peace with it, I talked about in that video, but it was a process that we discussed for months. Yeah. And, and we knew it was coming. Of it, yeah. We knew it was coming, but it just takes... You know, I don't know. At, at, at some point, you got to say, like I said in the, uh, did I say that in the Dream Big video? You're, you'll are you never be ready. You just got to act kind of thing. And so if you're waiting for tomorrow, you'll be ready. Tomorrow, you'll be, you're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready. You can't ride two horses with one saddle. That's what she, how she wore your end, what she kept saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to say saddle on here, though. Um, where was it at? Becca, I wanted to get to hers. My wife makes oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that are yummy. I like <laughs> oatmeal cookies. I love a good oatmeal cookie. That's my speed. Yeah. I love oatmeal cookies. Mm, I've got yummy. some, I got an Irwin Marple, uh, Dexter. He want to know if an Irwin blade is any good. I've got an Irwin Marple table saw blade. It's pretty good. I, it's equal to a Diablo blade. Um, well song, love that name, says, why is it that U.S. uses measurement phrases like by force or it's does a, it really do that instead of, uh, I think he's talking about hardwoods instead of one and a quarter or on hardwoods they they call them four inch. quarter eight quarter things like that and four quarter is four quarters which is an inch eight quarters is he says two he's inches. in the UK and he can't figure it that that sounds difficult yeah I don't know is about there that. is there some type of uh, I just conversion said, oh I don't know about that that you can find online? Yep. I don't know. Jim Adal says, if you're resawing on a bandsaw, don't force it. Let the tool do the work. A sharp blade is a must. Yes. Bandsaw is on my list. Mm -hmm. There's. I keep having this, this uh, battle, though, because I want some upgrade some tools or get some newer, bigger, better tools in the shop, but I also want some gym equipment. So I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Yeah, Reload and Shoot said went into Harbor Freight for the first time last week. Walked out with nothing, lots of junk in there. <laughs> there is some, some junk in there. Some people can, like, there's some things in there that are good. I've, I've gotten several yeah. Harbor Freight clamps. I still use them. Matter of fact, I still use them on, I use them on this desk. I use them on uh, one of the, the build that's coming out Friday. And so some of those things are you can use and they work well. And some of them I would say, eh, I probably wouldn't mess with it. Um, John Reeve says, Matt, please help me learn how to draw a design. Usually I have an idea in mind and I just go for it and always have issues I have to work out. I don't want to learn SketchUp. I don't, I don't <laughs> draw. She draws it out, kind of um, sketches yeah. it out. So I don't, I don't necessarily do any of that. Uh, H2 Woodshop. But he sort or, of works in what I call a backwards way. Um, when I'm teaching an essay. No, not in a bad way. I'm backwards? No, no, no. When I teach an I'm essay, <laughs> I call this the backwards way. Um, so I draw it out and show him what I want and he'll ask me, okay, what do you want the overall length or width to be or depth or height or whatever? I, mean, I it think is. it's how every woodworker has worked. Well, some, like you go step 
with me. Like I go out there and you'll say, okay. And so we'll write out arrows pointing to one side and we'll say, we want this to be 48 inches and we want this to be here. Okay, what do you want it built out of? Is it a one by, two by, whatever? Okay, well that's gonna be an inch here. That means my leg's gonna be here. But wait, do you want an angle on the leg? If so, that means my cut's gonna have to go this way. So we work backwards piece by piece every time we do yeah, it. Yeah, I think some most, people, a lot of people do that. Though. Well, some people just want to be able to see they want to write out, okay, I want the top to be 48 by 12, and then I want the legs to be this instead of doing step by step, kind of going backwards. Mm. It's what I call backwards. It's the backwards way of an essay. Um, I, I'm looking at it from a teacher's view. Yeah. Well, I saved the green door. I, I try to backwards try to field. think about like every step from the time. So I, I picture the finished product. So like this desk, I knew I wanted a certain width and depth. And then, so I just work backwards from there and try to think, okay, I'm going to have to have, you know, it's got to have this much space. I want this much overhang. So then I'm, everything just kind of works backwards from there and make it. Some people are finding good things at Harbor Freight. Uh, Lloyd has clamps from there. Robert mm -hmm. Ketchum has a brad nailer he's had for two years. So there are good things there. Yeah, it's just a mixed yeah. bag. You just got to be real careful. I do a lot of research before I bought anything. That's what Jason says. Jason Priestler. Common gotta core do your research. Woodworking. Common core woodworking. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so common mistakes beginners make. Painting a door green, for instance. Whoa, you know, I, I wouldn't call that a mistake. You know, I was a beginner when I painted that door. <laughs> you know. Somebody else put it on here. Mo, Mo was in on that. Too. Hey, Moose Works. Hey, Moose. Alaska. We got Moose Works on here. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Uh, Harley, Harley guy, that workbench, they're awesome. Matter of fact, they're, I've got two of them, and they're holding the CNC up right now. And I plan on making a workbench build. There'll be a video come out, but I'm building a new workbench. I'm going to pick up the supplies this week. And so I'm going to start building a new workbench. I'm going to move my old workbench over there and put it under the CNC. Matter of fact, that was her idea. I was going to buy a Craig, like a 44 by 44 metal frame, put some plywood on it. She's like, what are you going to do with this? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, boy. tear it apart. And she's like, well, why don't you use that instead of having to buy that other thing? I'm like, you're a genius. <laughs> Hold on. I have to formally apologize to President Wagner. There you go. President uh, Wagner, Mr. President, sir, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shoot. Mo is the one that made me say that because she's the one that made the joke. Mm -hmm. So it's all her fault. Everybody attack Mo. Hey, put the picture up there. What picture? Of Mo. I can't. Why? She's too short. It won't show up. Oh, man. So some of y'all have already seen it, uh, those that were in to, with our members only tonight and then those that are on Facebook uh, with me. Today, Mo got a very special delivery. Yep. It's a new dehumidifier for the garage. No. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Ain't it beautiful? <laughs> Brother Riv, he's already emptied that like twice. <laughs> once. Oh, uh, just once. Yeah. Anyway. I'm kidding. Here you go. All right. So today... Mo got this delivered, y'all. She purchased this. She used her own money um, with a, a gift from her granny mm -hmm. mom, her, her mama, grandma. Um, but she bought herself a brand new car because she's got herself a brand new job. She did sign her contract. And we're just really, really, really proud of you, Mo. Uh, Joel W., how do you get questions on the show? Just ask. We'll yeah. try to pick them up. If we missed you, we apologize. We're just we're trying to keep up. Thank y'all. She's she loves it. She keeps wanting to go out and just kind of move it around mm -hmm. just to get back in it. It's it's so pretty though. It's beautiful. Uh, Jim, I've got that Home Right Finish Max sprayer. I think it was a hundred bucks. Uh, it, that thing has put on more paint than I can tell you. It, it just that's stuff like that works great. Great Grandpa says. I go into my local woodworker source and tell the measurements of what I need in a big box store and they convert for me. They are glad to help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they'll help good. you out. They're very helpful. Cornerstone, it, it is not too early to make Halloween stuff, cause it, especially if you're going to have a little bit of an If you're inventory. working up a stock. Yeah, yeah. If you're working up a, a stock of stuff. Yeah. 
if you have a place to store it. It may be too early to start advertising it, but hello, Brent from California. Pasquale is painting his green door tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Yes. Steven, thank you. It's a um, Honda Civic and it's, mm -hmm. it's like a glittery white, the pearl white. It's so pretty. It's much prettier in person than we thought in the pictures. It, we're extremely I like that Carvana. Prouder. Thank you, Stephanie. Team Black Door. Yep. <laughs> I like that Carvana, y'all. It ain't you ain't gotta deal with no car dealer. You ain't gotta deal with it. Man, car dealer make me feel funny. I don't like the way to make Thank me feel you, I get angry Woodworks. at the car dealership because they be trying to play games. I don't like games. I just want to buy the car. Yes. Carvana is awesome. And Cool fact, the, the driver of the Carvana truck that delivered it, he said that when he turned into the subdivision, he started remembering the subdivision. He's the same guy that drove the truck to deliver my car, and my car was his first delivery. Mm -hmm. So that was super cool. So now we know our Carvana yep. delivery guy. Eli so. Fisher, the first <laughs> thing I built was a set of Jay Bates outdoor chairs. You can just search that on YouTube. He's got a couple of videos on how to build those. I built those one day when she was at work. She come on. She's like, oh, I want them. I was like, nope, I'm selling them. And I saw it. She helped me stage them up, and we sold them. Um, he does. Uh, Randall Tibbs says, do you require a deposit when building a commission? Piece? Yes. 50% yes. down Always. every time. Every time, every Always. time, every time. Even if it's somebody Before that you, you start you know, working on it, mm -hmm. get half of it down. That covers your cost of materials and your t little bit of your time if they back out on you. Don't even go buy your materials yeah, until you get that deposit. <clears throat> even if it's somebody you know, especially if it's somebody you know. Mm -hmm. Because... We have always found that the people we know the most are the ones I who built, are the most willing to. Not so if you go back on the channel yeah. and look, there's a, a flag that we made that has the uh, Pledge of Allegiance written on it. She wrote on the Pledge of Allegiance. I built that flag for someone I know because they ordered it. They wanted it. I didn't get a deposit. What do you think happened? I wound up putting it on my hey, Etsy SDR store and selling brother. it to somebody off in New York somewhere. But the guy that actually ordered it Told me he backed out on it after I made it. Hey, man, I got it finished. Uh, so get a deposit. <laughs> Mr. Jackie <clears throat> said, I bet the Carvana guy said you should paint that green door black. <laughs> but see, our front door is black, and so you can't see the green unless the garage door is open, and then you really can't see it. Rick Calter, um, uh, building an outfield, outfield workbench. What, would, what good wood to buy for the top? Most people use plywood. Baltic birch is going to be the best, and then below that is probably like a sanded birch plywood. Put a couple of layers of it, a couple of sheets, and then you can put T-tracks or whatever you want in there to help for work holding. SDR brother says, good evening, y'all. Y'all. Hey, y'all. So that's about as southern as he can get for being a Minnesota boy, but also, where would you recommend getting guides for a homemade sled for my Bosch contractor table saw? Go look, 3x3 three three Customs, just type 3x3 three three Customs table saw sled. She makes one that's small because she's on a, um, what do you call it? A small what? contractor type DeWalt saw. So that's, yeah. You just follow her guide. You can make one the same size. Lloyd, you have to use Carvana. They are amazing. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Oh, I love it. Uh, the next one said, oh, I was going to answer Michelle. Michelle, I agree. My front door is black. Looks great with the wreaths. 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 It's a hard Say that three times. Wreaths. <laughs> Say that three times fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Jake says he used a butcher block top for his. So that's cool. Uh, P. Duggan 916 says Walmart will start selling fall stuff next week. Never too early. Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll put their fall stuff out fast. Omega Recon, uh, I'll probably do them um, this week, this week or next. I'm going to start giving that stuff away and get it out of the garage. Because I got I got several twin jigs, several single jigs, and then a bunch of screws uh, get, get to y get into y'all's hands. So if you don't have a pocket hole jig or you just need one that's portable, so you can take to Walmart and do your pocket hole while you're walking down the aisle, go check out me on Instagram um, at 731 Woolworths. Let me put that up there. Who did you just answer? Uh, oh, I'm listening to you. It was about the giveaway. Was it Omega Recon? 16? Yes, it was. Okay. That's who it I was. Thought so. Matt Cook says, when I have a customer that wants a table, desk, coffee bar, etc., I've always built the top first to fit their requirements, then go to building 
the frame and legs, so he builds top down. Yep, that's a yep. good idea. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. That's what we do, too. Uh, uh, great grandpa, I don't have any plans to make those and sell them. Matter of fact, sad story. I had mine sitting on the table saw and I went to move the saw and it fell off and it broke. So now I got to make another one. <laughs> I was pretty bummed out. You can ask her. Uh, bummed out's not the word. Yeah. I was angry. He was angry, but he was like sad. Yeah. It was like a sad anger. I was like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I felt so bad for you. you. Yes. It was awful. It was one of the worst days in the shop. I prayed for you. Did you? Thank you. I did. I love that table saw slid. It's my first first one. I know. I prayed for now you. I got to make it on. But the fence is still good, so I'll just reattach it. And the reason you. it broke. Your shirt's not done. The reason. It's my, my gun's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the reason it broke was because uh, that back, the little small back fence that I had on it, the little, like that, I probably should have had it a little bit bigger and put a few more screws in there, but less than Cornerstone, yes. I went into Hobby Lobby last week and they had mm -hmm. Christmas stuff out. I was like, really? What? <laughs> Did you see that when we were in there? You didn't go over to what that What are you talking about? That side. I walked all over Hobby Lobby wanted what, to drop me off. I don't know what we're talking about. What are we talking about right we're, now? I'm going back to Hobby Lobby Thursday. Oh, Christmas yeah. stuff. I don't yeah. know what y'all talking about. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, did I hit you too hard? No, Just I'm good. Me. Is that too hard? Mm -mm. I'm at, I'm at gun. <laughs> it's my shoulder, not my gun. So it's up here with the stock set, not down here with a barrel. <laughs> David Torres hates pocket holes. I'm sorry, man. What? I'm sorry you live in that world. <laughs> Come on over to the pocket hole side. Uh, some people pocket do, holes are good. Some I, people do hate them. I built her the, if y'all are on the woodworking community, the 731 community, I built her, a, I posted a picture there. Uh, I built her an outdoor storage ottoman. Done a video on it. Come out a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. But I use all pocket holes. And it works so great. So I love pocket holes. I know some people hate them. But I love them. And so when he first started you, building Paul. stuff with them, he wanted to put, I don't know what, plugs. The, plugs, the plugs. Yeah. He wanted to put the plugs in there. And I was like, no, 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 no. No. I like the look of it. I love the look of it. Mm -hmm. So join the pocket hole side. We have Miss 731's cooking. <laughs> uh, you got to get on the, the pocket hole wagon. Uh, yes, great grandpa. The prices at Hobby Lobby are awful for the quality of what you're getting on some mm -hmm. of that. Some of those, and that's that's a hard sell with customers because they see those sort of prices in other places, mm -hmm. and they're wanting that well, kind that, of price. But that's building, not your customer. No, that's not. That's your not customer. your customer because somebody that walks into those places, IKEA. I mean, we ain't got no IKEA in here. Um, Hobby Lobby, Walmart. Wherever they're buying their stuff at, if they're buying that and that's what they want, then they are not your customer. Now, they may message you and say, can you make this? And you go back and forth for an hour and waste all your time, and then you give them a price, and hey, then they're Wendy. out. That happens a lot, but, yeah. Those people ain't your customers. Yep, lumber futures are down, Dexter. Uh, they're falling, which is awesome. Uh, but the price of lumber ain't falling, not yet. Um, did you see what Paul Mood said? Yes, he rest in peace, my yeah. my table saw. Paul, we were so sad. Mm -hmm. See, we had a good time visiting with Paul. We had a yep. good time visiting it was awesome. with Travis. Mm -hmm. so. uh, we're also supposed to meet somebody in Bentonville Friday when we go. Yep. Other than Mr. Mark Puente. Oh, we're going to the hardwood store Friday to pick up all the materials needed. Well, all the lumber. I've already got a bunch of materials here for a new workbench build. Assembly table workbench. It's going to be awesome. So, if you have any questions for a hardwood dealer, like what would you want to know if you've never been, you're going to the hardwood store for the first time to buy walnut, you know, uh, oak, or whatever types of hardwood you want to buy. You, you name it, he's probably got it. He's got like 25 different species. Anyway, work in the grain hardwoods, wtghardwoods.com. If you want to know what questions to ask him, you can shoot me an email or message me on Instagram, Facebook, or you can comment here and we'll try to pick them out. But... I, I want to do a video on what to talk to the hardwood dealer about. Because a, a lot of people are intimidated walking in there for the first time. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what to ask. You don't know the terminology. You don't know what you're looking for. Joe Southern says, buying the pocket hole uh, plug cutter is a good investment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lloyd hey. says, pocket hole forever. 
Yep. Joel W., what kind of equipment did you use when you first started YouTube? I had an iPhone. <laughs> That's it. I used an iPhone. And then, I don't know, a couple videos in, I bought a little lapel mic that actually plugs into your iPhone. You can buy them on Amazon. It was like 19 bucks, and I used we'll that forever. Man. And uh, then I bought a little tripod that holds your iPhone, and, and that's what I used for a couple, three years, probably about two years, two and a half, until I saved up enough to buy a camera, and then I got a Canon M50 and just used that, that's, and then a road mic. But, mm -hmm. but you, can get, you can get by with an iPhone. Uh, Timothy Brown says, enjoy your channel. Have I already bought pocket hold kit ready to try it? Awesome. I love them. I do. Mm -hmm. I know David Torres is on there <laughs> trying to, to show out, but I'm just letting them. <laughs> because guess what, David? You're giving us interaction and engagement on our channel this month. Yeah, um, I'm not worried about yeah. that. <laughs> I mean. Uh, Auburn, Alabama. Hey, Joel. Married man, when you William. listen back, hope everything is going good. Yep. Just my first one. Uh, Moose Works, I'll I'll ask for a price list. Can you write it down? What? Price list from Working a Grain. Yes. He yeah, does ship to WTGHardwoods.com. Yeah, he ships. What all does he ship from there? Uh, he's got 10 exotics, which is like uh, Bloodwood and... Leopard wood, purple heart, purple heart exotic. I don't know. Anyway, he's got twenty five domestics and ten exotics, or vice versa. Which you make? Uh, what was? Where's the thing? Who was it that asked that? Uh, 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 uh moose works. Oh. Uh, R. Charlie guy. I used so. I was using Luma Fusion was the name of the app. You can get on an iPad, iPhone, anything like that. And I just use that to edit the videos with. And uh, I, so I had an iPad and an iPhone. So I shot the videos on the iPhone and it uploads to the iCloud or iPhoto or whatever. And so then when I got my iPad, it would just be on there and I could just pull it into LumaFusion and uh, edit from there. Uh, who did you use, Sam? Uh, all right, Charlie guy. Okay. Joe Southern says, how do you know when it's a good time to leave a company you've supported for years to buy pocket hole items, screws, and more? Mm -hmm. What was that question again? I was reading. How do you know when it's a good time oh. to leave a company you've supported for years to buy pocket hole items and screws and more? No, oh, I don't. I, that's a you question, man. I can't answer that for you. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's a personal decision if you're going to be using one company over another. Um, if you're happy with them and they've done nothing wrong, I don't see any reason to leave them. If you're, if you're not happy because of service, and I give you a big pat for instance. Me and Northern Tool are not getting along. I ordered a air conditioner on May 18th for my garage, a mini split, and I mm -hmm. waited. It was supposed to have been delivered by May 28th, 26th, 26th to 28th. It didn't show up. So I got on the chat messenger with them and chatted, and they're like, it'll ship in five to six days. Five to six days later, still ain't shipped. So I called. I'm like, I want to cancel the order on my money back. And thank you. They Rick said, okay. Carter, welcome to our two before support. Thank play. you. Get you one of them. So I I did that, and then that was a week, two weeks ago, and they still have yet to refund my money. They are so something. me and Northern Tool ain't getting along. Mm -mm, I will never in my life buy from Northern Tool again. There ever. Every time he calls, they just give them a runaround. They got my money. Yeah. And they fixing to get one of them. But they uh, said they don't have your money. No, they got. I know. Falsifying. What do you call it? Uh, uh, I'm going to put one of them false things on my car. You know what I'm talking about? Fraudulent charge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tangent alert. Tangent alert. Thank you, Christopher Guy says, <laughs> love 731. Keep up the good work. Long live your leap of faith. You have helped thank me you. many times with your videos. Awesome. Thank you. Joel W., I love Ambrosia Maple. It's my mm -hmm. favorite wood. I love it. There was somebody. In That's what this decimated. Of. So, love but Brent French was saying, what is that awesome table you have? This one? This table here? There's a video built on this mm -hmm. Ambrosia mm -hmm. Maple disc. Is that the one you were talking about, Brent? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You somebody, see some of here. it's funny too because somebody uh, left a comment on it and said, That's not a desk. That's a table. Yeah, but, I mean. Um, 
Can can it be both? I mean, whatever you're using it for. It could be. <laughs> Theft by deception, breach of contract. Yeah. <laughs> Joel said, "I love how honest y'all are." What we'll other try. ways there to be? Yep. Mr. Jackie's got his tangent things on there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the tangent alert? Yeah, that's what Stephanie used earlier. Oh, okay. too. She had a tangent and then tangent alert and then another we one. We got to get a sound sound effect we for do. that. We do. We need one of those. I, I'll work on that. So I tell my students in a tangent. I tell my students at the first week of school every year, I tell them, if you ever want to get me distracted, talk about a dog. Because yep. dogs get me distracted. And I say that's how I get off on tangent. And so every year... <laughs> I have students that'll say they get they get uh, tired of the lesson that we're doing, you know, when you've done English for a while, and they'll say, "Hey, Miss Outlaw, will you tell us about your dog." <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Joel says, "Desk is a table." I think. Um, it's whatever you want to use it. Yeah, for. you can use whatever. I mean, if I wanted to clear this off and well, eat we dinner on it, label everything. Matter of fact, now. I ate lunch sitting here today, so. Well, we got a label everything. It was a Ain't table desk. Everything got to have a label, It was right? a desk table. <laughs> <laughs> hey, William Cardwell says, Hey, kids, coming at you from Arizona. Bad call, Northern Tool. You messing with the pocket hole king? Yep, they <laughs> are. I ain't worried about that. Look, man, I can build it out of whatever I want to build it with. It's mine. I'm going to use it. I mean, if I want to use a pocket hole, it's a pocket hole. If I want to use a dial, I put a dial in it. Whatever. Omega Recon know. 65, someone please build a night table. <laughs> hey, Becca, uh, Becca oh, I love, that's the first time I ever used lacquer, and I will use that again and again. It was so easy to use. What that feel like? Oh, Rob Rimp, that's awesome. What does it feel like? I am talking about a dog. Butter smooth, ain't it? Yeah, it, Butter it smooth. does feel nice, it Becca. Is, he loves oh, it. That's awesome. It's a devil. <laughs> It's a desk and a table. It's a devil. San Marco says my table identifies as a desk. <laughs> <sighs> That's funny. <laughs> hey, Josh Smith from Mississippi. North Mississippi. Mr. Jackie there says, you go. Mo, I there you think go, Mo. Steve Ramsey has a, a nightstand video if you really want to see one. There you go. Yep. We don't ignore you, Mo. We just, it takes a while for your voice to, to rise up to us, you know, because you, you got to speak you, up. Your voice has to, you know, mm -hmm. keep rising. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you use lacquer for a dining room yes, table? Yes, you can. It's a good, durable yep, yep. finish, and it's mm -hmm. really easy to use. And like right and now, like right life. now, if this got a gouge in it or something right now, I could sand it. And spray another coat on, and it would actually adhere to the coat beneath it because it re-wets. It basically bonds to itself every time. So lacquer is fantastic. The table formerly known as a desk. Dexter Butler, the epoxy job with the physical therapist. No, we've not done it yet. We've not done it. She's been working and been on vacation, and uh, she's had some stuff going on with her kids. But we do have some epoxy that we're doing mm -hmm. soon we're doing a project that will have something yep like nathan i used an hvlp sprayer right you can go check out the video build desk i show how i did it mm -hmm. it's really easy really easy matter of fact if you want to see a very well done video on lacquer just go look for jonathan katz moses search that on youtube jonathan katz moses lacquer and you'll find it he's has that's the video i watched to spray this desk. It was excellent. There you go step Funny. by step, show you how to do it. It's just awesome. But du duvet? Would you call me? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me glad I love you. <laughs> we're get he says we are getting a puppy to hang out in the wood shop awesome. later in July. Yeah. Keep him cool. When do you use paste wax? William Went wants to know. Well, we've used paste wax on a bunch of things. You can use it on your uh, shop equipment, table saw, Hey, William's jointer. the one that I was looking for, right? Yep, yep. we were looking for him. He had uh, some kind of issue William, with I, Facebook. He yeah, was not the only one, though. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but I'm glad you're on here. Paste wax, before you get off on your tangent oh, alert. Tangent but, alert. Okay. So, well, a lot of times what we use paste wax for is if we distress something, you put paste wax on top of it and it gives it a satin sheen and that cool antique finish 
William, I'm going to put my Facebook name into the chat box. Go to Facebook and add me, because I looked for you and there's more than one William Wynn. Mm -hmm. So if you will add me on Facebook to my personal account, I'll add you and then I'll try to pull you into the community. Cause he's already done. He's already, he's back in. How do you get back in? He had to create a new account. Mm. I don't know what happened. Jason that Garrett. Is not, that is not a tangent, y'all. <laughs> Jason Garrett. Business. I don't know about how well that would work outside. Lacquer working outside. Uh, probably okay. I would use spar your thing for out, anything outdoor. Or like we're using the Cabot Wood Oil for our outdoor stuff. If any of y'all get uh, to where you can't get into the community because something and you've mm -hmm. not done anything, um, message us and let us know because we've had a few people that that's happened to yeah. where it's not been any, you know, nobody's kicked them out or anything. Something just happens or I don't know. Uh, Nathan says lacquer does not work well outside. Okay. I wouldn't use it out there. I, I would know. use spar your thing. Matter of fact, I use spar your thing. That was my first finish I tried to use on our dining room table. And when I put it on, it had a few brush strokes in it. But over time, that stuff is, I don't know if it just levels out over time. We just wore it out. But it's weathered, just mm -hmm. pine on pine. It mm -hmm. is weathered really well. Like, it Very looks really well. good now. It gets used a lot. Yeah. Uh, Design by D says, uh, I don't, I'm going to say her. I think the profile picture is one. Uh, it says, oh, my dog can't take noise, so my cat might be my shop yeah. buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our dogs don't. Especially the Iggy, the Italian Greyhounds, they don't like the noise. But now our grand dog, Mia, mm -hmm. she loves to sit she'll, on the top yeah, step turn, by the green door. She loves to lay by the green door and watch while he's in the shop. She doesn't come down the steps or anything. She just wants to lay there. Yep. And if she wants out to do that, we'll hear her scratch on the door. So we open it and she just lays on the top step. She just likes to mm -hmm. kind of watch anything her poppy does. Oh, designed by D is a girl. I thought it was, but it's really <laughs> tiny the little thing I'm looking at here. Spray can poly works all right for small small projects. Even spray can lacquer will work good for smaller projects. Uh, it would be Did very you difficult. Becca used on cornhole boards. Uh. -uh. Says she used it. Oh, it went away. Oh, spar. Yeah, gloss spar. It goes away. There it is, gloss mm -hmm. spar. Yeah, on cornhole boards. Greyhounds. Yes. Uh. Hold on, Joel. We'll put one up there. What? A picture of our Iggy mm -hmm. Boo Boos. We call them our Iggy Boo Boos. Michelle Cochiel, the secret exciting project is coming out in a few weeks. I haven't started working on it yet, but I'm fixing it. I don't know. Mo is like texting about one of the greyhounds. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I will send a picture, though, so that Joel. It is so sad. <laughs> Put this one on there too while I look for one of the greyhounds. So show you this picture of our grand dog. She was sound asleep like this, laying by me in bed. Is your internet off? No. Is it not coming through? I don't see. I'll turn my wife off. Maybe that'll help. <clears throat> oh, I hear one of the pups barking. There's Charlie. <laughs> and Find Coda here. Here they are. All right, so put the one up there, Mia. That's our little grand dog. That's Mo's dog, and she's, that dog broke. <laughs> she's a Havanese. She is a pretty little thing too. Mm -hmm. Sweet little cutie she can be. There's Charlie. That's our little Italian greyhound girl. Have you seen me, Coda yet? No, I'm trying to get to it. We have a lot of pictures from other <laughs> stuff in here right now. The end of school and all that stuff. It's really sad. Thank you, Tiffany. Do you have any other tips for them while I'm doing this? Um, My phone's messing up. William, the Odie's, it's Odie's oil. There it's about go. $40 for a nine ounce jar. You think, oh my gosh, $40 for that. But it goes a lot. Like I, I started using it on mallets I built early last year. You can go watch that mallet video, whatever date that was. That's when I started using it. And I've still got this much in the jar. Matter of fact, I just ordered another jar yesterday. It's got like this much. It goes a long, like that stuff goes forever. Hold on, I'm going to send you a different one of Coda. Most in it. There you go. He looks sad in that picture, though. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, Joel, I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean in person stuff? What? Is that him? No. That's what come through? No. No. What you mean, no? That's not what I sent to you. That one. Oh. (laughs) There's Coda. I thought you were supposed to know how to work your computer. I did. That's what you do now for a living, right? Kind of. That's Coda. He's our little chunky monkey. Mm -hmm. He's got the most handsome Uh, little face. On Amazon. Is that, are we talking about Odie's? Yeah, I bought it. Though. You can go to their website or I bought it on Amazon is where I got mine. Odie's oil. Thank you, Ben. Oh, uh, yes, Jim, you need a mask. Mm-hmm. Lacquer for lacquer. So, Schmitty Trucker needs you to take it from the top. I got you, man. So. Welcome, Welcome to Live, to Live Edge. Edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like his name. Schmitty, Schmitty we Jaegerman Jensen. That's off of SpongeBob, in case you don't know. That's not even the right name. Yeah, it was. Was it? Yeah, it was Smitty Yeagerman Jensen. No, it's not. Yes, it was. That is Google that it. can't be right. Google it. You can take that to the bank. I know my SpongeBob. <laughs> what? Go How ahead. How do you spell that? Yeager. Y A G E R. Man <laughs> Jensen. many times do you think that's been googled that did not pull up anything you spelled it wrong you can't I spell Jaegerman Jensen like that I the way you said to smell it smell it smell it smell it <laughs> Smitty Weberman Jensen see you were wrong you can't play that you can't play it it'll be copyrighted it's Smitty tangent alert tangent it's alert Smitty not Schmitty it's Smitty I said Smitty <laughs> you did not Werber Jager mentions. I, I was, don't even know. That was right. close. That was close. Jeez. Okay. Have you tried uh, any wood turning? I have not turning? tried what any wood turning. Do you I don't, plan on it? No, I don't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, Jay, I'm not sure if they carry Odie's or not, uh, wherever you buy your wood at. But you can get it on Amazon or Odie's.com. I think Odie's actually offers free shipping if you want to get it from them. They sell them. In, they sell a batch. Of, they smell. They smell. They sell just a jar of it, or you can get Odie's dark Odie's wood butter. I think it's called Odie's. See, I liked your name the other way. You can tell you're a woman from your profile pic. Put it back. I liked it. Don't worry about other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she changed it to Deanna M. You're good. Thank you, Alan. Put it back. Thank you. Put Stephanie. it back, girl. Stand behind yourself. <laughs> hey, Barry from Arcadia, Florida. I'm ready to go to Florida. Uh, Ben. Okay, Miss D. I like Miss D. I like that. <laughs> uh, Ben, just be careful. You need if you're 12 and trying to woodwork. Uh, I know you. You just need some guidance. Make sure you've got guidance there, because you last thing you want to do is get hurt. Tiffany, um, she says, "What's the best beginner project without lathes or planers that could be higher profit, lower margin?" What? Um, what was it? What would be a good beginner project with where you don't have some of the more advanced tools, maybe? Stove covers. Stove covers is what I was going to say. Um, we sold those on Etsy, and we did really well with those. Mm-hmm. And you can make them with minimal tools. You can make them with a jigsaw or just a skill saw mm-hmm. or circular saw and a jigsaw. Oh, my I have Lord, to catch we're myself. way over 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Tangent alert. <laughs> tangent alert. Moosework says, one too many cups of coffee and a little Irish. We don't drink. We don't drink. <laughs> but sometimes we may act like we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Miss D. She said, I'm a mom and a wife, so I need to own it. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, stove covers. I got uh, plans for those. If, if you never built one before, go watch the video. I've got two videos. Watch the 2.0 video where I made a couple little tweaks to it. Just stove cover 2.0, 731 works on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And you'll find that video... Those things are so simple to make, and they I've gotten dozens of messages of people who s- see the video and start making those things in their local area and make quite a bit of money. You, I made like $20,000 on Etsy in a year's time, just side money, selling uh, stove covers. So, yeah. Michelle was saying that Joel was asking about in-person classes. Oh, I don't, have any, I don't know about that stuff. I may have to... Uh, I think there would be some insurance stuff involved in that. 
at some point. In person classes? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'd have to know. look into that. Um, Joel says, gave awesome, up drinking man. five years ago. Best decision of my life. Sober life. That's right. Um, I actually <clears throat> used to like to have a glass of wine years and years ago, but since I've been on migraine preventatives, I can't drink. So mm-hmm. like, I can't, if I drink anything, I can't take it. So I just don't. Carving spoons. It's addicting and therapeutic. Oh. I don't know where I'd put a lady. Yeah, it's all natural. <laughs> Moose works. <laughs> Bye, Lloyd. All right. Well, we are way over yep. our time again. Oh. What? Never mind. What? Oh, I just thought somebody had a question, but they didn't. I misread it. Miss D is curious about wood burning. We've never tried it. I've burned a lot of wood. Not Throw it in a wood pile, time. roast some marshmallows. Time. Not that oh. time. Psh. We've never tried it. But the wood burning stuff, the way that people do that is awesome. I like the floors yeah. that are done with it. Yeah. You seen those? Mm-hmm. They're beautiful. So cool. Uh, one more, one more, one more. Turn Mike Adams. Washington. It's hot. Jeff McKinney. Mike Mike Adams wants to know if I made this awesome wood grain cover. I crafted that with my own hands. No, I didn't. I bought it on fishskins.com. F I S H. Both of these came from S K Fish S K Y N S. It's spelled funny. Yeah. But yeah, Bye, it's, it's just a piece of vinyl. That's all it is. Bye, Mr. Jim C. All right, we, y'all. We are out of South Arkansas. That's why we got that accent. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us tonight. Yeah, it, it's it's a bad one. <laughs> I think it's good. Oh, most works. Nine years no drinking here. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Living the sober life. All right. Well, <laughs> we will let y'all go. What, what, what? Bye, it's waiting on you. I love this man, y'all. I love him. I really do like him. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. Bye.